I've never really thought footprints are terribly interesting. But those particular ones, because of their age, because how well-preserved they are, they're absolutely unique. We want to know about ourselves. We want to know where we came from. And we want to know what elements entered into our becoming human. Mary and Louis Leakey were a couple who almost single-handedly demonstrated that there was important early anthropology of humankind in Africa. Most scientists in the West, anyway, didn't believe that humans evolved in Africa. And it was Lewis's persistence, because he'd grown up in Africa, he'd seen stone tools lying around, and he always felt Africa was the home of mankind. Lewis was the grizzled explorer who would produce fossils out of the pocket of his overalls with a flourish. Oh yeah, now Mary was always the scientist behind the two of them. She was the one who was doing the field work and Lewis the one who was raising the funds and drawing in the publicity and the popularity. I first met Mary in 1963. She was a rather a formidable character to me. She was one who did not suffer fools gladly. She loved her cigars. She liked her whiskey. She loved her dogs. One of the dogs might come up and look at you and she'd say, Ron, I think Sammy would like uh, your potato skin. And somebody would give the dog uh, a piece of potato skin and she'd say, no, no, he's got to have butter on it. Meanwhile, we were rationed on butter. <laughs> there were very few women scientists when she began. She ran the affairs there. She just would not tolerate bad work. And she'd you know, go up to them and say, what do you think you're digging? You're not digging your garden and you're not digging potatoes. She was a meticulous excavator. And that's what people do now. And I think she was one of the first to use such exacting methods. The leak has made major contributions to the discovery of early human ancestors in Africa. They continued working at Olduvai Gorge right up into the early 1970s when Lewis died. I think returning to the work she loved for Mary may have been a solace. And not many years after Lewis died, she would discover something unprecedented. I think it was 76, wasn't it? That's right. <laughs> You know, in the field, it's very hard work, and you're always looking for distraction. People do all kinds of goofball things at the end of the day. The story goes that people were throwing elephant dung at each other. And upon missing the elephant dung frisbee that had been tossed to him, Andrew Hill dove to the ground and uh, found himself face to face with a footprint. I think it was a giraffe or it was a large mammal. There were elephant footprints. There were guinea fowl. Mary herself excavated them. And it was incredibly arduous work. But of course, in the back of the mind of every paleoanthropologist, the hope is to find a hominid tracks. And it's that that was realized at Lytoli. There they were ancient hominid footprints. They were just spectacular. It is a remarkable find. It gives a flash into the past. The footprints were preserved by a volcanic eruption. A nearby volcano puffed out a cloud of this carbonatite ash. Then, it rained, and the rain turned this volcanic ash into a kind of a muddy slurry, a bit like wet concrete. While it was still wet, the animals came out again and walked over it. Including the hominids. 
you wonder what was going through their mind. What did they think about this volcano? These are our ancestors. These are the creatures that ultimately gave rise to ourselves. And we want to know what they were like. As far as the number of hominids that uh, made the trackways is concerned, there's a bit of dispute. I'm convinced there were only two. Mm -mm. I, w I would absolutely disagree with that. Mary thought there were three. You can see that the individual walking behind has put his feet in the footprints of the individual in the front. <clears throat> that is still under active uh, discussion. Very few of us agree on every point of analysis. And this is how science progresses. It is, yeah. These footprints, what they did was to prove that hominids were up moving around on two feet three and a half million years ago. We already had skeletal remains that showed us that the early hominids were upright walkers. But here, for the first time, we could see the actual footprints showing the manner in which they walked upright. Bipedal walking is considered to be one of the hallmarks of humanity. If you're walking on four legs, your hands are not free to do all the things that we do with our hands. Without our hands, we could never have become human. That's, of course, only a small segment of the leakage contribution. Mary demonstrated that dedication pays off. You dedicate yourself and you achieve results. I think she was, to me and to many other women in this field, Mary was an inspiration. 